Now it's seven. A Lexington hotel is robbed overnight, and police are still looking for the woman who they say got away with cash. In Ohio, police get some unexpected help in catching a suspect on the run. That helper also had an interesting past. The standoff in Oregon continues. The militia's latest move involves taking down cameras. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning and happy Saturday to you. You gotta stay warm out there. It is cold. It is chilly. I'm Sean Moody. Thanks for joining us. And it sounds like it's just gonna get colder after today. Mike Linden is standing by in the First Alert Weather Center. How are things looking there, Mike? Well, it's cold right now, Sean, with temperatures back into that lower 30s range. Quite a few spots are sub freezing this morning as well. That includes Lexington, Madison County, Boyle County, most of those spots in the lower 30s. But notice southeastern Kentucky still hanging on to the upper 30s and lower 40s as that cold front just now pushing into that. That's part of that part of the state, but bound behind this cold front, it feels colder than what thermometers indicate, feeling more like the lower 20s. So again, be sure to grab that extra layer to get you started this morning. Still tracking some light snow flurries as well over eastern Kentucky, pushing along the eastern Mountain Parkway, moving through Powell County, Wolf County, and Menifee counties this morning. Something to watch out for, so take it easy out on those roadways. But coming up, I'll take you through the next few days, which guess what? Could be even colder with even more chances for snow. It's the winter, and it looks like it's just now kicking into high gear. Hi, Mike, thank you. This morning, police are still looking for a man who they say robbed a speedway on Versailles Road. And they say it happened just after 2 a.m. this morning. Police say the man went into the gas station and demanded money. WKYT's Mike Byer joins us now with more from the scene. Good morning, Sean and Michelle. It's back to business as usual here at the Speedway on Versailles Road just hours after it was robbed. We're told by police the robbery happened just after 2 a.m. Police say the suspect entered the store, showed a pistol, and demanded cash. Police say he fled the gas station with an undisclosed, undisclosed amount of cash. A K-9 unit then tracked the suspect to the 2000 block of Devonport Drive. However, police were unable to locate the person, but they have released a description. Police tell us they're looking for a thinly built man in his early 20s. They say he was wearing a blue hooded sweatshirt with a mask over his face. They say he was also wearing house shoes. Now, the good news out of all of this is no one has been hurt. As always, if anything else develops in this case, we will keep you updated online and on air. Live in Lexington, Mike Byer, WKYT. Thank you, Mike. Now, another armed robbery happened last night here in Lexington, this time at the Quality Inn on Newtown Court. Police say a female went into the office of a hotel with a handgun and demanded money just before midnight last night. After she got the cash, she left the building. Police used a canine unit and tracked her to the transportation cabinet parking lot. We're told that's where the canine lost the scent. Police think she got into a car. They said she was wearing a gray hoodie, camo jacket, gray sweats, and combat boots. No one was injured, and police don't know much how much money she got away with. A trailer caught fire on midnight last night on Barron Avenue. Firefighters said there was one man home at the time and a few animals. We're told a lamp fell and burned a small hole in one of the bedrooms. Crews said it was a small fire and everyone got out safely. We're also told that man is still able to live in his home. The Bourbon, or Bourbon County traffic rather will be a little bit lighter this morning after Georgetown Road reopened last night. Bourbon County Dispatch said the road was closed for about three hours last night. We're told the semi truck was stuck after trying to avoid an oncoming car in his lane. No one was injured in that accident, just stuck there for a bit. State police have seized drugs, money, and guns from a Pike County home. Troopers searched the home of 57 year old Terry Fouts of Vergy, Kentucky. Now, while searching the home on Thursday, troopers say they found a variety of prescription pain pills, marijuana, handguns, a shotgun, and a rifle. Troopers also found roughly $5,000 in cash. The case is still under investigation and will be presented to the Pike County Grand Jury. Now, police are praising the quick instincts of an Ohio mechanic. He helped authorities take down a man wanted on felony drug charges. This body cam video shows a Wayne County, Ohio deputy chasing after a suspect through snow and fields. Just when it looked like the man couldn't, could get away, an auto shop worker jumped into action. 56-year-old Jeff Mullen tackled the guy, helping cops catch their suspect. Then he turned around and run, and I just started hooked him here, hooked him here, and threw him on the ground. He says, I can't breathe, and I said, sucks to be you. 
Mullen was a former bouncer, so jumping in to help was instinct. The Worcester Police Department thanked Mullen for his help and said more people like him need to be out there. We've been following a story out of Oregon for the past couple of weeks where a small group of armed protesters have been occupying a national wildlife refuge. The group is protesting federal land use policies. Yeah, and the group has taken already down the fence where part of the protest was. Now they've taken down security cameras. They think the government is using to spy on them. See, the camera's clear as day. Ice in the skies? That's what the Bundy group believes. Somebody, possibly the FBI, I don't know, put these up as surveillance cameras to watch our egress and regress. The group says Harney County residents alerted them to the cameras about 15 miles outside of the refuge. After a few minutes, the box is open. Surveillance cameras? We broke that There's the cameras. This is United States federal government surveillance. Ryan Bundy says this is one of five cameras the group was made aware of. We don't like being spied upon. They're taking them down Damn. one by one. It's a ma yeah. magnet base. Another one. Plugs. It is a directional. A souvenir full of oil finicum. I'm going to keep this in uh, where the office where I'm working at. By that he means. Uh, this is my office that I work out of. The headquarters of the Malheur Wildlife Refuge. On day 14 of the occupation, the demands remain clear. It is that the federal government shall never have access to these buildings again. Finnegan says he knows not everyone in the county agrees with them, but says it's not about the masses. And so it's about the one. And so as long as, for me, as long as there's one rancher that says, Lavoie, don't go, here I am. Finnegan calls the refuge a symbol for their fight against the federal government. We've taken the fortress and we are we're here to hold it. The chairwoman of the local Native American tribe in Burns has asked federal officials to bring criminal charges against the group if any of the ancient artifacts are damaged or go missing. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has received an endorsement from a coal miner's daughter. Country singer and Kentucky native Loretta Lynn told Reuters that she wants to campaign for Trump, but she said she has no plans to contact him herself. She wants him to call her. Lynn says she's already been stumping for Trump at the end of all her shows, and she says her audiences generally respond warmly to that. And tickets are now on sale for one of the largest country music festivals in Kentucky. Yeah, Red, White, and Boom tickets went on sale yesterday morning. The festival will be at Whitaker Bank Ballpark here in Lexington over Labor Day weekend, and this year's lineup will include Jason Aldean, Florida Georgia Line, and Casey Musgraves. This is literally the biggest event ever in minor league baseball. It's the biggest event that we'll have here, and it's just such a huge event for the entire state of Kentucky. You can buy a three-day pass for Red, White, and Boom for $179. We've got more information about tickets at our website, WKYT.com. 707 on your Saturday morning, and there's still a lot more to come. And yeah, a search is on for a dozen missing Marines after two helicopters crash in Hawaii. And green isn't really a color you want to see in the dairy aisle, but find out why people in Wisconsin are loving it. And get ready for a big time drop in temperatures already feeling it this morning. It looks like it should get even colder here over the coming days. Man Chrysler had a great year. Thank you. We're so grateful we're bottoming out 2015 models and offering special markdowns on 2016's too. You're gonna drive away saying, man, what a deal. The average person takes five to 8,000 steps per day, working, exercising, going about the day. High-tech artificial limbs keeps you moving comfortably. You can choose who helps you walk in the right direction. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has a huge selection of carpet at unbeatable prices. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. The family, the teenage drivers, the snow, the rain. The fact, Toyota has more top safety picks than any other automaker and has an all-wheel drive vehicle that fits you. Like this all-wheel drive Sienna, which outperformed Jeep Grand Cherokee and AMCI testing on snow and ice. Sienna has better acceleration and stopped 76 feet sooner. Now, get 0% financing on Sienna or $1,250 cash back. Toyota.
Let's go places. It happens every year. It's out with the old, in with the new. And with new arrivals coming daily, Furniture World Superstore showroom is overstocked. Now through Monday, to make room, we've reduced prices up to 50% off furniture for every room. It's Furniture World's January clearance with more savings on the best styles, leading brands, and our biggest selection ever. Find sofas, just $4.59. Ristana Queen mattress sets, only $2.99. Plus, take one full year to pay interest-free. Now through Monday at all five Furniture World Superstore store locations integrity character dedicated committed to service to serve and to protect we are the men the, the women, women the present and the future the office of the Fayette County Sheriff join our team Nothing excites us more at Man Chrysler than helping someone find their new car. Thank you for your trust. Stop in and see the 2016 models. You're gonna drive away saying, man, what a deal. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 100.1 WKQQ. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Mike Linden. It is much colder as we get our weekend started than where we have been the past few days. Now back to where things should be this time of year at that freezing mark to get our weekend morning started. Now just past 7 o'clock this morning and we're still tracking the chance for some flurries as well as a cold front that last night brought us rainfall. Now in its wake bringing some very slight flurries. Very, very light, light, light flurries to eastern Kentucky. But nonetheless... We're still looking at the chance for this to turn over to freezing drizzle, which could, of course, create for some slick spots on the roadways. Right now, pushing through the Frenchburg area of Menifee County into Wolf County and Morgan Counties, West Liberty there, Rowan County as well, catching some of the flurries this morning, too. We take a wider look at why this is the cause. And again, that cold front that yesterday pushed in most of that active weather. Now what's left behind? Cold air getting drawn in from the northwest. And this is just the first of many cold fronts from the northwestern United States that we are tracking. We'll get back to that in just a moment. But right now, temperatures are down quite a bit from where they were yesterday. This cold air really taking, really taking hold of the state, taking most spots into that 10 to 15 mile, 10 to 15 degree range down from where we were at this time yesterday. And it feels as if it's actually even colder than that, feeling like the lower 20s as we get our morning started early on. 22 degrees in Lexington. That's a pretty big drop off from where we were just one day ago. But into the afternoon today, well, that cloud cover out there really isn't going to help us out very much, really going to limit the amount of warming that we'll be able to do. There won't be much sunshine for us today as temperatures only return to the mid-30s. It's above freezing, but nonetheless, still 35 degrees, a bit of a drop off from the 50s where we were over the past two days. Overnight tonight and into Sunday, more of the same. But then overnight into Monday is really where you'll be wishing that the clouds stuck around because look what happens when we lose the cloud cover. We slide into the teens to start off our work week with daytime highs really not getting much better back into the upper teens. That just goes to show you how cold this air is coming in from the northwest. Moving into Tuesday, again, with that lack of cloud cover, we're looking at overnight lows that could sink into the teens yet again, if not even colder in the single digits for most spots. So that cold front that worked its way through last night, that's all but done. Another cold front Sunday evening moving in from the northwest, and that is really going to set up for the coldest days that we have felt so far this season. Could be tracking some snow flurries out ahead of that as well, moving into Monday morning. But that Arctic air settling into the bluegrass, and that is going to create for some overnight lows Monday, Tuesday, that you'll certainly just want to get through as quickly as possible. The single digits with potential sub-zero wind chills Monday, Tuesday. And again, still tracking the chance for some snow showers tomorrow as well. So the winter is here. Still have yet to have that big snowstorm. Uh, mainly, it's just been a lot of cold, a lot of flip-flopping, really, from yeah. really nice temperatures in the 50s the past few days to the single digits. So hopefully we can just find a consistent temperature and just stick with it. Monday is cold. I can't get over it. Five single digits. Could be even colder, too. Thanks, I, everyone's Mike. just so thrilled. <laughs> We're all like, thanks, Mike. <laughs> 
So this is thanks to our cheesehead producer, Lindsay, this next yep. story. In Wisconsin, they're starting to see green milk on the shelves. Yeah, the milk hasn't gone bad. It's Packers themed to celebrate the team's postseason run. It's called the Packers Power Pint. I wonder if Randall Cobb has tried that one yet. It's a limited edition green vanilla flavored milk. And although the drink may not look appealing, some Packers fans are also fans of the taste. Gee, that tastes pretty good. All right, what is, what's the flavor? I think it tastes like eggnog. Eggnog? Yeah, it does. You know, years ago when you used to make eggnog at home, that's what it tastes like to me. Okay. It's good. The Kemp's Dairy Plant <laughs> says they will keep making that green milk as long as the Packers keep on winning. Big game tonight against yep. Arizona. Yep, absolutely. When WKYT This Morning returns. We'll have more news, including the search continuing for a dozen missing Marines in Hawaii after two helicopters crashed. We'll take a look at the rescue efforts coming up. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental. They got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer bed. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money-back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. What started with the drop of a coin continues with dedication and hard work. At People's Exchange Bank, we offer essential business tools and services to help you start, run, and grow your business. Putting our trust and money in People's Exchange Bank for years. All our money. You can be sure of a Toyota RAV4's all-wheel drive capability because AMCI testing shows RAV4 outperforming other SUVs in snow. Acceleration, RAV4 beats Honda CRV while Subaru Forester is slowest. Braking, RAV4 stops 50 feet before CRV and 83 feet sooner than Forester. Now, you can get the new restyled 2016 RAV4 with 0% financing. Toyota, let's go places. Hey guys, I'm Deanne Stevens for Sleep Outfitters. We're over here at Sleep Outfitters on Woodhill Drive, where Sleep Outfitters makes mattress buying affordable and fun. Now, maybe you need a mattress for the spare room. Company's coming, maybe. Right now, you can purchase any size Sealy mattress, twin, full, or queen, for just $99 each piece. When you purchase a Sealy Queen pillow top mattress with gel foam for just $4.99, Get a free HD TV, or how about a free size upgrade from a queen to a king on four select Sealy mattress sets? Get 16 more inches of sleeping comfort when you purchase this Sealy Euro pillow top with wrapped coil support for just $7.99. You save $1,000 and get a king size bed to boot. Don't have room for a king size set, maybe? Then choose a free HD TV instead for the size upgrade. Sleep Outfitters has a financing plan you can check out as well. Come see us at Sleep Outfitters or check it out at sleepoutfitters.com. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. Welcome back to WKYT this morning, 718 now on your Saturday. Here's an update on our top stories. We're tracking a story across the world this morning. In Africa, Burkina Faso's president says forces there have killed four extremists in a nearby hotel. Troops were able to free 126 people. Terrorists have killed 23 people. The country's president says at least two of the attackers have been identified as women. The search for a missing skier in California continues first thing this morning. Carson May was last seen skiing at the Sugar Bowl Resort Thursday afternoon. He was reported missing yesterday morning when his friends realized that he didn't make it home. Rescuers later picked up a signal from his phone but still couldn't find him. They're not giving up hope, though. Rescuers have spotted a debris field as they search for 12 U.S. Marines missing off Hawaii. They were in two helicopters that collided in midair and crashed. As Catherine Cruz reports, rescuers are going all out to find the missing service members. The images of military might rolled in all day long at Ali'i Beach Park. From the air, sea, and from the shoreline, all eyes have been off from the horizon, past the pounding surf. But Mother Nature hasn't relented, making the search for survivors in crash debris difficult. The large waves are drawing visitors and residents to the North Shore, but the search and rescue operation is prompting an appeal to the public. 
Our main safety message about the debris is that if someone sees something, we do want them to call, we want them to report, but we don't want them to touch it. We just want them to allow the professionals to step in and recover that debris after it's been assessed. With this weather, there's no telling where any marine debris might turn up. It could end up on a neighbor island. But this morning, a tow and surfing team reported seeing what could be a propeller off Alligator Rock. We heard about a report. Uh, we had an aircraft respond to the area, and they didn't see that piece that was reported. City and state officials are asking the public for help in steering clear of this area so rescue crews can do their job. There is large surf across the whole shoreline, so we're just asking people to probably stay away from the North Shore for at least a couple of days, especially from the shorelines. We don't want anybody getting into trouble that doesn't need to. Ocean Safety has provided two jet skis to help assist in looking for survivors between the sets, but there is some concern that rescues of surfers or beachgoers could strain resources. Honolulu's Fire Department is pulling back after assisting in the search overnight and today and says it will be tapped as needed. At this time, uh, because we're concentrating more out in the ocean, the fire department itself has uh, we've reallocated those resources back. Portions of the Haleiwa Harbor and Ali'i Beach Park are off limits to the public as the field will be used as a recovery area during this search effort. The debris includes an empty life raft and possible pieces of aircraft. The U.S. Marines are still looking into what caused the collision. It's coming up on 721 now on your Saturday morning. There's still a lot more to come. Yeah, sports is next. The Wildcats travel to Auburn this afternoon for a meeting with the Tigers. We preview the game coming up next in sports. Back to the lower 30s this morning as temperatures have dropped off, and it looks like we could also be tracking some additional active weather this morning. I'll show you where coming up. It's the Super Saturday Set. Shop before 11 a.m. Saturday and get an early bird special 11-piece knife set free. Plus, save up to half off with up to $1,000 in cash rewards and zero interest for 72 months. Saturday, preview Friday. Nobody beats me. Kentucky Lottery is Kino, the exciting way to have fun every five minutes. Fueling imagination. Funding education. Performance. Reimagined. Style. Reinvented. Sophistication. Redefined. The all-new Lexus RX and RX Hybrid. Agile handling. Available 12.3-inch navigation screen and panorama glass roof. Never has luxury been this expressive. Lease the 2016 RX 350 for 439 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs is having a fantastic holiday sale. Come in and shop and save on great furniture. Save up to $500 on selected Lazy Boy recliners, now only $392. Save $1,000 off Sealy Queen sets, now only $799. Save an additional 25% off all Tipper Pedic floor models. This sale is so big, even Vito is helping to get ready for this fantastic holiday sale at Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs. Give us five minutes to make your life easier. MomsEveryday.com Looking to fall in love this Valentine's Day? Fall in love with summer at the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. Shop the latest boats, RVs, and motorsports. Visit the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. Brought to you by Lee's Ford Marina. Hard work. It took hard work to get here, and we Kentuckians know it will take hard work to get us through tomorrow. At WKYT, we're proud to tell the stories of everyday Kentuckians who aren't afraid to get their hands a little dirty to make this a better place to live. WKYT stands for Kentucky. Don't pay over $1,000 for this Whirlpool Cabrio High Efficiency Washer Dryer Pair at Lowe's when they're just $4.49 each at P-Rats. Get zero interest for 18 months on TVs and appliances. Hurry and get the deal of the decade. Nobody beats P-Rats. Welcome back to the winter. It was a nice break while it lasted in the 50s, but now back into that sub-freezing range of the lower 30s across the Bluegrass State. Early this morning, 31 degrees in Lexington, 30 in Madison County. It looks like we will continue to see temperatures dropping off here the next few days. In fact, it feels colder than what thermometers indicate this morning, feeling more like the lower 20s this morning. And if you were outside yesterday at this time, what a difference a day makes as temperatures are down.
down by nearly 15 degrees, let alone the additional wind chill. Now, we are still tracking some light flurries over eastern Kentucky through spots like Menifee County, Rowan County, and moving into cities like West Liberty, right along the mountain parkway there. Something to keep in mind as well as temperatures warm up, we could see that turn over to some freezing drizzle, and that could create for some slick spots on those roadways. So take it easy here if you're heading on the mountain parkway this morning. Into the afternoon, not much warming left to go. Thick clouds staying with us through the bulk of our day as we return to the mid 30s. So keep that extra layer with you if you're heading out the door. Lee Kay is back in next with sports. Kentucky is on the road this afternoon at Auburn, and John Calipari is looking for his big men to pick it up coming off Tuesday's win over Mississippi State. Both Alex Poitras and Marcus Lee struggled a bit in that game. Lee fouled out, and the Cats almost let a 20 point lead get away Tuesday. Poitras believes ultimately this team's success will come down to its defense. I mean, we start defending better. You know, we did a great job defending to like the last eight. Eight, eight or seven minutes, you know, um, but you know, we got to hang our hat, hats on defense, you know, so we just got to come and prepare and start defending teams to win games on the defensive end. It all comes your way this afternoon. It'll be a four o'clock tip. You can see it on ESPN. Several former Wildcats should play in the NBA's All Star game next month. And yesterday, John Calipari put up a video promoting his former players for the NBA All Star game. Here's a little taste of it. John Wall, what he's doing. Player of the month, John Wall. You gotta kind of go to this. Who is the kid with the one eyebrow? Gonna be the best player in the league. In a sh I don't think his does that. I think. And you can check out the entire video on YouTube. Calipari trying to get you and everyone else to vote for his former players for the NBA All Star game. Well, Last night at the Coliseum, the UK women ran out of gas against number two South Carolina, falling by 11. That was actually Thursday night. The Cats raced out to an early lead, and they were up by as many as 11. But foul trouble and defensive lapses doomed the Cats in the second half. Defensively, right now, we are a work in progress, but they're they're very willing, very tough. Um, through all of our struggles last night, number two team in the country, we're one possession game with six minutes left, and then it sort of got away from us, and so have to build on that. And, and it's, um, it's, it's a matter of practicing properly. That'll do it for your morning sports. Have a great day.